Today's discussion is based upon Helen Keller's article and how she came to acquire language communication. During this time, she could not communicate. She was deaf, she was blind. Um, and because she could not communicate and connect with not only the people around her, but the world, she became angry, bitter, frustrated, and she didn't know how to express those emotions. But when she had that aha moment, and we've all had those aha moments, she realized what her teacher, Annie Sullivan, was doing for her. She was no longer handicapped because of the abilities and capabilities that were being taught to her to communicate. Communication is very essential for all individuals. And without communication, anger, frustration, those strong negative emotions erupt inside. And this is the case with Helen. Helen was distraught because she could not communicate with those around her. And so she would act out. Um, some would say if you would view in some of the clips that portray her life from the movie, she was a very, she would look like she was a brat because she was doing things to get attention, eating off of other uh, people's food, grabbing it, acting very savagely like. And this was becoming frustrating, especially for Helen's mother because Helen could not communicate and her mother knew that there was an intelligent child in there or else she wouldn't be acting the way that she was. So by acquiring the help, the teacher of Annie Sullivan, she was able to communicate. So it's important to understand that communication is key to be successful in anything in life. And that was one thing that Helen advocated as she became older and became an adult and realized, hey, I'm blind, I'm deaf, but I can communicate, I am smart, I am intelligent, I can do anything that I want. And that's what she traveled the world trying to instill in others that the blind and the deaf were not stupid people. They did not need to be housed in homes shut off from society that communication was key. And that is the message that Helen is trying to get across in this short little piece, is that everybody has that aha moment. Everybody has that hard, difficult time, the ship, the metaphor of the ship, where you're stuck in the fog and you can't find your way out. And you will, you will find either a friend, a teacher, a parent, someone that will give you that spark, that hope, that can help you see how important it is that you need to do what you need to do. And that was the importance of this story. So now what I would like you to do is I would like to get into your groups again and annotate her essay. Use the steps that were discussed in the previous lesson and go through, mark, and make notes of things that stand out and of importance to you. Because eventually, if you haven't guessed it by now, all of these essays that we write, you may want to copy the style, like how she uses a metaphor, or you might want to copy the style of Malcolm X or any of the other writers. Um, and eventually you're going to write a personal narrative based on communication, language, some type of awareness with that. Um, so focus on those issues, those themes, your awareness. How do you compare your awareness to what Helen was feeling when she discovered she could learn words even though she was deaf and blind. There was a way out for her to communicate. What about Malcolm X? He learned how important it was to communicate through the use of vocabulary, through diction, through the right words. And then the other readers, or the not readers, but authors that we're going to read also have a message about how important it is, the language, and how it made them become the person that they are today. So just keep those thoughts in mind as you're annotating in your groups. And that's what I would like for you to do the rest of the day. And I'll see you all on Monday.